My opinion. My opinion. My opinion. Hello there and welcome to My Opinion and today I'm going to be talking about prayer and I'll be making emphasis on the various modes of prayers that I have seen that exist in our world today and for some of you out there who are basically not tied to anywhere in Africa some of these praying ways might be kind of strange to you but it's almost like we have a way civilized people pray and then we also have a way that uncivilized people pray but I believe when we pray we pray to God and and that God answers prayer and the scriptures has put it there and has put it quite plainly that God even hears you when you pray in your secret place and um, according to the scripture we says God who hears you in your secret place will reward you openly now that's one now this is a civilized person's prayer I'm going to be praying to God for my financial situation so Firstly, I will do the civilized prayer. Dear Father Lord, I bless you for being so good to me. Father in heaven, O oh God, I pray on my finances. Lord, that you will see me through all my financial situations. Lord, that you will open doors where there are no doors. Father, that you will make a way where there is no way. And Father, my finances are going to be sorted out in the name of Jesus. Now, there are certain scriptures in the Bible and characters in the Bible that are basically used to emphasize on praying vigorous and hot and loud prayers. For example, the situation of the blind man, the blind man sitting by the roadside, blind Bartimaeus, when he called upon Jesus from the crowd, Jesus, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And with the crowd, he was heard and answered. That is just one scenario that is used to emphasize vigorous prayers. There is also the, the, the situation of Hannah when she went into the temple to pray for the son he later got it was recorded that while she prayed the prophet prophet Eli thought she was drunk now there's no specific emphasis to say how loud she was but it was mentioned that the movements of her lips were unusual on that particular instant and it caught the attention of the the prophet and he questioned her and she laid down her pain about being childless and after that she was answered you know sometimes the the story of the children of israel while they brought down the walls of jericho while they went back and they made a loud noise and the blue musical instrument the trumpet and yeah the wall came down that is also emphasized and these are good points just to emphasize that praying out aloud sometimes brings the results so now i want to do the prayer like um to pray like an African will pray for his financial problems. <laughs> Father, Lord in heaven, I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord my financial situation will change this week. 
Lord in heaven, rain down progress, rain down businesses, rain down opportunities. Let them come, let them come, for I shall succeed. Ooh, ah. Ooh. What about the situation of Jesus Christ before he was before he went to the cross? Where he went to the hills to pray? And why he prayed? He prayed to the point where it he was drenched in sweat to the point where his sweat was looking like blood. Sometimes that's laid on the table too. To let you know that if whatever the situation in your life is is heavy enough you have to pray hard enough like pray to the point where you sweat blood i'm not discriminating any form of prayer because at the end of the day christianity was shared abroad but then the, only, the best way most of us adopted the religion was according to our cultures let me bring it down to africa now you know back in africa we have africanized our christianity because some of the things we do and how we do it is similar to the way it was done back in the day when our forefathers worshipped idols you can hear the chants if you go to to to, to culture effective festivals most of the cultural festivities, you will hear the chants, the noises, the ones that happen at night, the ones that happen at day. You hear the chants, the noises, and the kind of praises they sing and the kind form of worship they do. It is not applied to all form, all of the gods because it, now it is based on the your, your region and the rest of that. But every god has his own, had every idol as at that time had his, had it had its own way of worship and praise and prayer but as Africans our Christianity has been Africanized to the point where we pray just like we prayed back in the day no understanding and my own experience I have seen situations where I prayed really silent silent calm Pressing, but quiet prayers and results came so quick and so real that I can testify. Am I saying it's wrong to pray aloud? Am I saying it's wrong to swing your head and clap your hands and jump? I'm not saying that. My opinion here today is that praying if you pray to God and somehow you feel maybe you weren't loud enough maybe you weren't shaken or you didn't sweat enough or maybe you didn't repeat yourself enough as one of the reasons why or as a reason why you're, you haven't gotten your answers or your answer then I want you to listen to me and listen to me very well God hears the whispers in your heart he hears the ones you do with your lips moving but no sound he hears you when you are as loud as thunder and he hears you when you are still as the quiet see you should never in your life feel the loudness the pitch the words of your prayer were insufficient and that is why you had delayed answers or didn't see result because God hears you every time and each time you pray no matter how you know how you were taught how or just no matter how you pray with the right motive every prayer 
with the right motive in mind. Every prayer is heard by God and no one should make you feel you are not praying right just because you pray differently and if the way you pray has never ever yielded a result then you really need to look back on yourself but it boils down to you not thinking that it is because you were not heard 